flying through a variety of habitats in the southern United States, Central America, and the Caribbean, is a truly remarkable species of dove, the white-winged dove. These birds are characterized by their tan bodies and light blue rings around their orange eyes. However, it's their namesake white wing patches that truly set them apart. Even when their wings are folded, these patches still remain visible along the edges of their wings. This unique pattern makes them captivating for birders and non-birders alike. In fact, the mention of this bird's name in the Stevie Nicks song Edge of 17, which reached number 11 on the Billboard charts in the 1980s, brought it further into the spotlight for the common public. The range of the white-winged dove spans from some of the most picturesque and remote regions to urban spaces, as this species has managed to adapt over time. In the Sonoran Desert, their migration aligns with the cycle of the saguaro cactus, timing their arrival with the cacti's fruiting. In addition to feeding on the seeds of cactus fruit, they also eat other seeds, grains, and berries, and will consume small stones to aid in the digestion process, which helps to grind their food in their gizzard. When it comes to nesting, white-winged doves exhibit monogamous behavior for at least one breeding season. During courtship, males perform impressive aerial displays, returning to the same branch, and may also make various movements like bowing, puffing their necks, or fanning their tails to attract females. The nesting process involves males selecting a general nesting area, while females pick out specific sites. Nests, constructed from twigs and plant material, take on a bowl-like shape. A typical clutch consists of one to two eggs, with the potential for one to two broods annually. The young doves are nourished with crop milk, a highly nutritious secretion produced in the parent's esophagus. Remarkably, when predators approach their nests, the white-winged doves mimic injury to distract predators, a strategy reminiscent of the killdeer. At bird feeders, white-winged doves display a preference for seeds, though they may also indulge in berries, and if they're around, you'll often spot them at elevated feeders in your yard. Also make sure to listen for a whirring noise their wings make when they take flight, and their endearing cooing, which may become more common since these doves have been expanding their range. White-winged doves have even been observed in unlikely places, such as Alaska and Newfoundland. While they were once widely hunted, and populations plummeted due to the hunting and habitat loss, management efforts and conservation have played pivotal roles in their resurgence. In Texas, for instance, white-winged dove hunting was regulated by requiring hunters to purchase specific stamps to hunt white-winged doves, generating millions of dollars for conservation efforts. This approach led to a significant increase in their population from less than 1 million in 1939 to 2.2 million flying across the Lone Star State by 2001. Globally, white-winged doves are classified as a species of low conservation concern, with a population estimated at around 14 million individuals. In terms of longevity, the oldest known white-winged dove reached an impressive 21 years and 9 months. Personally, when I've seen white-winged doves, I'm always struck by their subtle blue facial markings and beautiful orange eyes. Despite their sometimes clumsy appearance, especially in large feeding groups, these doves possess a gentle and endearing nature that makes them quite likable. Have you had the pleasure of spotting a white-winged dove before? Share your experiences with us in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Mm -hmm.